Hello all, I'm Sai and you're watching the book Dragon. In today's video, I'm bringing to you my January reading wrap up. I can say that January was not a great month for me, but in terms of reading, it was really nice because I picked up a lot of great books and of all the 17 books that I read, only one was a three star, but apart from that, everything else was really, really good. And I did not have high expectations for the three star book also. So as a whole, reading was great for me in January and I'm so much excited to see what I'm up to read in the rest of the year. So without any further ado, let's get into the books right away. Let's start with the physical books. I read a total of seven physical books in January and of those seven, two are alone books which I listened to as audiobooks and just followed on with the physical copy and one book I partially read it as a physical book and partially listened to it on audio. So of these, the first one is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Many of you guys have been wanting me to read this for quite a few months now and I decided to pick it up as the first read of 2022. I can say that it was a really good start for the year because the book started out in a really dark place and then it got better and better and towards the ending I just loved it very much. It's not a 5 star book for me, I just rated it 4.75 stars but as a whole it was a really good experience. So for the people who have not read it yet, this is about Nora who's 35 years old and she is in a very bad place in her life right now. When she decides to commit suicide, she ends up not being dead and ending up in this place called the Midnight Library which is a place in between death and life. And in that place, each and every book that she picks up turns out to be an alternate reality for her and she's able to see various versions of her future. There are some trigger warnings for this book and this is the only book which I reviewed in January. So if you want to know more of my thoughts about the book, please do check out the video. I'll link it down in the description. The next one is a non-fiction and it is A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson. I listened to this as an audiobook and followed on with the physical copy. The audiobook is actually available for free to listen in the Audible Plus catalog so you can try it out if you are interested. Now in this one the author talks about his trekking journey in the world's most dangerous trekking path which also extends to thousands of miles in the US along with one of his friends. I can say that this book was not a great read for me because this is the only book which I rated 3 stars of all the books that I did in January and it was not up to my taste. Okay I've heard that Bill Bryson has a very humorous writing style but this tone of humor is not something which I like that much. I'll not say that it is bad or anything but there are multiple instances inside this book itself where I noted he uses body shaming as a tool for his humor and I did not like it at all because it just made me feel bad. I'm not sure whether I want to continue on with his other books or not because I've just read this one and I don't want to judge all of his other books just based on this one alone. I don't know whether I'll be reading them or not let's just wait and see but as for this book I rated it 3 stars. The next one is a middle grade contemporary book and it is My Brother's Name is Jessica by John Boyne. Here we follow our two main characters Sam and Jason. Sam is a 10 year old boy and his elder brother is Jason and what happens here is his elder brother comes out to be trans and they want to undergo the transition of becoming a woman physically and the various challenges that that character is facing and our main character Sam is facing throughout the book. It is not a book that is totally negative in its tone or totally positive in its tone. I think it was very realistic in its sense because the parents of these two characters have a really high social status and their mother as a politician. Keeping all this in mind, I think the author did a really good job of representing the character and showing their transition really really well. Since the book is targeted towards a very younger audience, the way in which the author has carried out that process and showed the transition of a character from coming out to undergoing the total transition in order to become a woman physically was really nice. It's not completely realistic, at the same time it's not very depressing also. I think it was really good personally and I'd also recommend it to anyone who wants to read it. I rated this book 4 stars. The next one is a YA romance and it is I Love You So Mochi by Sarah Kuhn. Here we follow our main character, 17 year old Kimi, who's in the final few days of her high school, but she's not clear whether she wants to get into the art college that she's supposed to get into because she's really good at painting and her mother is an artist or she wants to do something else. There are only two months for her to end high school and get into college, but she has not decided it yet. During the same time, what happens is Kimi receives a ticket from her grandparents from Japan in a small village named Kyoto, asking her to spend her spring break with them. She goes there and spends a few days with them in Japan. When she meets the 17 year old guy named Named Akira who's to get into medical school and he helps her to discover her passion. As a whole I can say that this book was a very comfortable book to read and it had everything that I expected it to have. I rated this one 4.5 stars. Before getting into the next book, I want to tell you guys one thing. I'm deciding to name one book every month as my most favorite from all the books that I read in that particular month. I'm saying this now because this is my most favorite of all the books which I read in January and it is Radio Silence by Alice Osman. This is another young adult contemporary and I can say that after reading this book, I just loved the writing of the author and her characters very much. So I just went forward and read seven of her books totally in January. Here we follow our main character Frances who is 16 years old and she is in the pre-final year of her high school. She is academically very very proficient and super smart and she is not that much of a social person so she has a very small friend circle. One day what happens is she meets this guy named Alit who is very similar to her but even smarter. They become really good friends and start sharing secrets with each other. The way in which their relationship progresses on is really really nice. I cannot say that they have any kind of romance between them but the way in which they express the feelings for each other and feel comfortable around each other to talk anything that they want was really nice to read. 
I can say that of all the books that I read in January, this is the book which I related to the most, especially the main character in this one. I loved it completely and I rated it 5 stars. I wanted to make a review video for this book in the channel but I did not do it because I don't know how to review this. I'll be able to discuss it with spoilers but I don't know how many people will watch. So I did not review it but as a whole it was really really awesome and I rated it 5 stars. The next one is an adult high fantasy and this is the book which I read for a book club in January. We are going to read The Final Empire in February. So the book which I read is The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. This is actually a reread for me because I've read the book already and I loved it then itself. But this reread just proved to be very much more useful for me because I noticed a lot more things which I did not notice far back then and I had also not read that many books during that time. The writing of this author is definitely one of the most beautiful writings that I've ever seen and the way in which she provides each and every speck of detail without jarring us and presenting this world for us is really beautiful. Here we follow our main character Nari who's 20 years old and she's a con artist and has this very specific ability of being able to heal anyone. One day what happens is, in doing one of the rituals, she accidentally summons a djinn and the djinn ends up sweeping her into this magical town called Devabad and the story just progresses on in there. The world is very very beautiful and the writing is so gorgeous. Last time when I read it, I rated it 4 stars but this time I rated it 5 stars and I just want to read the other two books in the trilogy. The last physical book is another reread and it is Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the first book in the Illuminate Files trilogy. I read this far back in 2018 I think and I listened to the audiobook alone but I did not read it physically. This time I read it physically and I can say that I loved it a lot more. The formatting of this book is really really beautiful because it is multimedia format and it's not like a traditional kind of storytelling at all. We have every other kind of conversation in here like emails, text chats, CCTV recordings and many such things. Here we follow our two main characters, KD and Isra, who are living in this planet called Kerenza and what happens on a particular day is that this company called Baytech comes in, attacks their planet and they have to evacuate the planet and escape from there. So they get onto these two different spaceships named Alexander and Hypatia. The best part about this book is that before Baytech comes and attacks this planet, both of our main characters had just broken up and the story just goes on from that. I can say that the storytelling method that the authors have used in this one is super cool. Once you start reading the book, you will not be able to put it down at all. I'd highly suggest the audiobook for this one because it has an entire cast. I'm going to continue on with the series also and it was a wonderful experience for me. I rated this one also 5 stars. Moving on to the audiobooks, I listened to a total of 5 audiobooks and of these, the first one is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I know that this book is super hyped and it is always seen on Bookstagram as well as Booktube and I understand the hype right now. This book is really great guys. I think everyone needs to read this. I thought that it was an adult romance first but I don't think it is that much of a romance compared to literary fiction if you ask me. The main concept behind this book and the thing that it addresses and shows to us properly is domestic violence, the pressure that it puts on the victim and the people that are surrounding the victim, at the same time the dependence of the victim. The author does not shy away from showing the violence properly to us because in order to understand the effects that it has on a person, we need to see what's happening clearly and she shows it to us properly at each and every instant. It's not also a very heavy book, okay? The romantic instances inside this book are also really well written. I think I want to read more books by this author because I've seen many of her books being super hyped especially in Instagram and Instagram Reels nowadays. In this book, we follow the story between Lily and Ryan who end up falling for each other and get married and from then on, we also switch in between Lily's past and her present. In the past, we see her childhood memories through some of the diary entries that she has. I'm just sad that I did not read this before because this book has been existing for almost 6 years now. I highly recommend it and I rated it 5 stars. The next one is a sci-fi book and it is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I know that this one is also very super hyped in booktube as well as bookstagram. That's the reason why I picked it up because I want to read more sci-fi this year. I can say that this book was really good but it was not outstanding in any way at all for me because it felt like after all the things that we see inside the book, the book could have ended in the same place or in multiple other better ways also but the author chose to end it in a certain way. Here we follow our main character who goes out one night after finishing dinner with his wife and son in order to get them some ice cream and while he's returning back what happens is a man just comes and hits him with a gun and when he faints he's taken to this different place after which he starts experiencing different versions of his reality itself. This has the same concept like that of the Midnight Library but in that one it is made by choice but here it is forced upon the person. I just felt that the ending of the book was a bit convenient because the author just decided to finish certain things within just a single paragraph in order to make us understand that anything is possible inside this book so I choose to make this happen. I think that was the only drawback inside this book but apart from that it was really well written. As a whole I liked it and I think I'll be reading the other book recursion by this author also. I rated this one 3.75 stars. Next one is a non-fiction book and it is The Almanac of Nawal Ravikant. One of you guys have been wanting me to read this for the past few weeks now and I've received multiple comments from the same person. So when I found the audiobook available on Storytel, I just went forward and listened to it. It's not even long. I can say that this book is very suitable for beginners who have not read 
non fiction books at all because it has every other kind of information that every non fiction book has it's like a mixture of different kinds of non fiction and it is presented really well by the author also if you ask me if i had read this book 2 or 3 years back when i had just started reading non fiction books this would have been a great pick for me but since i've read a few non fiction books by now i don't think it was great for me but as a whole it was nice i rated this one also 3.75 stars I want to club these last two audiobooks with the ebooks because they are part of a series. I read a total of 5 ebooks and of the 5, 4 of them are from the same series and the series that I'm talking about is Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. I have read all the episodes that are out until now in the Webtoon app. I did not pay anything for it. It's completely free. You can just download the app and read it for free in Webtoon itself. There are totally 4 volumes out now, but in the Webtoon app, things which happen after the 4 volumes are also published until now. I'm sure I'm going to buy all the 4 volumes and have them with me. I have the 4th volume alone. I'm not going to show it in this video because I'm saying it for a book haul. There are totally 4 volumes of Heartstopper just as I said before and apart from them there are two novelas which are Nick and Charlie and This Winter I read all of these six continuously I just binged them I can say while I talked about Radio Silence I said that I read seven of Alice Oseman's books right six of them are from the same series and one other is Radio Silence I read Radio Silence first loved it then I went forward and read Heartstopper which was not even in my list at all but I ended up loving it as a whole the series was super comforting if you are in a bad mood or if you are feeling depressed in some way or the other just go forward and read Heartstopper I'm sure that it will make it far better better for you this is a series i think which has every kind of emotion inside it it is basically a romance but there are multiple layers for this romance also the romance is the center of the series but surrounding it there are many other things which are happening also for the characters their friends their families everything i loved it very much and i can see that both radio silence as well as this one are linked through a single character there is also a netflix adaptation for this which is in preparation and i think it is releasing this summer you should not read the novel collections alone before finishing the first four volumes because they will spoil it for you as a whole i like this series very much and i'm definitely going to read all of Alice Oseman's other books also I rated Heartstopper totally 5 stars Nick and Charlie 4.5 stars and This Winter 4 stars the last ebook which I finished is also another series it is also completed and available for free to read on webtoon again it is a horror series called Horang's Nightmare by Horang it is a collection of 6 or 7 horror short stories which are spread across 10 episodes and uh, they are also animated in some ways I actually read all the webtoon books which I said right now Heartstopper as well as Horang's Nightmare only during the night time Heartstopper made me happy while I went to sleep and uh, Horang's Nightmare just gave me that creepy vibe It is very unsettling and creepy so if you get frightened very easily please do consider that before getting into this one because it has a lot of gore and blood inside it I liked it but I think it could have been better so I rated this one 4 stars So yes guys those are all the 17 books which I read in January and it was awesome in terms of reading for me I just want to carry on this mood and make all the other months of the year also really good in terms of reading because I have a number of wonderful books which I want to read on my TBR If you read any of the books that I've talked about in this video please do let me know down in the comments how you felt about them and if you have read them or not and don't forget to leave your January wrap up as well as some recommendations that you have for me in the comments because I'd like to know them If you did enjoy watching today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends If you want to get more content from me do subscribe to the channel Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.